Hey, this is Boat Dog. Hey, this is that nice little boat. This is that 19 Sea Chaser. I mean, your bow's up high enough. You're high off the water, about 42 miles an hour. Uh, I got all your electronics set for you. Like I said, if you hit page, you can go in here to just a sonar. There's your sonar with radar overlay. Say you don't want overlay, you just hit that and you turn off. Uh, if you want a heat map, you can go ahead and go here and go to the heat map. And that will give you your heat map there. I gave you your speed over ground depth, made them a little bit larger so we can see water temp, force over ground latitude and longitude. So we'll go back up here, we'll go to radar. We can head into that, and you can go to radar options as well. And then you go to sonar. And this has got down scan overlay I got set on this already for you. And you can go into more options, general mode. You can go for shallow water, fresh, deep water. And then you go over here, then you go to side scan. And anything, we got some fish over here to the right side. That's over here, not over to the left. You can change these colors if you like, just by going to the palette color and clear the cursor. I had a cursor set for that. Down scan, I got fish reveal on that. I went to this color here with the kind of the yellow. Ooh, we must be getting in kind of shallow water here. We're in 26 now, but we need to be over there. It's high tide flying. So I'll just kind of idle over this way. So you got some fish in here, you got your range, depth range here. And I said all your speed, latitude, longitude right there. And then you got your radar. And then that's in standby. So we're gonna transmit. And these are, I got it set for like a half mile out, eight mile rings. And that's symbology. This is tracking. Uh, if you don't like that, that will show you which way the boats are going, they'll leave a, a trail. And then you can go to a Juz and you can go into like Auto Harbor or you can just do a bird's eye shows everything or you can do a custom or you can just go like to gain in the manual and then you can change it like right here manual, get that off, see how it clutters it up or you can set it down. So that's up to you, I'll just go here. But for right now, what I'm gonna probably do, because this is gonna probably confuse you a little bit, uh, I'm gonna go into adjust, back, view. I'm gonna turn off this um, uh, target trail right here, off. That gets rid of that white until you get used to it. So you go back, back, and then you go into that, and then you go into your side scan. I have the depth scan, uh, navigation, Okay, so what I'm going to do is set a point right here, like right here, and then I'm going to go to cursor, and then you can go back here, you can go into your steer, and that will give you your time to destination, how much you're off on your steering, you need to go 15 feet to the right, speed over ground, time to destination, course over ground, latitude and longitude, you go like that to get rid of that bar. And then you can go into here, of course, you can go into instruments. And right now I got it on depth, and you can change that into like basic, where you got your compass setting here, speed, depth, water temp, volts. And then you can go back into the one I had, or navigation. That would be to keep this on the line because I got a waypoint set, and it'll give you all your destination times and distances. Uh, so I'm just gonna go back to basic and then go to nav. So I got my numbers here to show you. And then I set uh, all this, I'll go through you, with you. That's your, like your alarms. You don't go into the settings button. I already did that, but I set some combos up for you. So here's your radar and you get rid of that, you can go over here. And then, then you got your radar overlay on top of your GPS. You can zoom in and out on that. And then you can set your distance over here. Now say I wanted to side split that. I could go over here. Uh, da, 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 where in the heck out right here? It does split. See, I could go make that bigger than the radar, or, or split it, and make it the same, and then I'll just save it. So that works good. So what I'm going to do? Go back into the steering aspect, so you have that. And let me see. I'm going good there. Uh, you got two hours. That's about right. Three quarters of the tank. I think I put in 22 gallons on ethanol. Pack. It is about 58, 5900. Trim tabs work. Horn work. Nav lights work. Bait. Uh, live or. Um, Bill's pumps work, wipers work, I like them big windows. And actually, just your VHF to turn it on, it works. Uh, 
So we're just kind of coasting out here. You got loads, a lot of room. You got your bag drop that will go there. And then, like I say, you got a tie bar here. You can hook up when the motors are down. There's your wharf down. You don't use that tie bar when you're uh, not using your kicker. So then what I'm going to do is just hit it to show you how fast it gets on top. The trim tabs are all the way up. 1,001, 1,002, 1,002. 2.75 seconds, 21 miles an hour, about 3,800 RPM, right here. It was on plane, about 19 miles an hour, about uh, 2,800. Then cruise. Stop. So that'd be a good cruising speed, 4,027 miles an hour. And he gets rough, it was rough over there when I came out. Trim it up. Turn 52, 54. It's going against itself, or with it. It's, the panel's really good, there's 39 miles an hour. About 57, 5,800, 40 miles an hour. And it's cutting right through this without beating you up. 58, 41 miles an hour. So you trim that. Then I'll show you the trim tab. So you're going right there. So we're leaning to the left. Get the right tab down. See, it's working. You can steer with these too. Then you can go over here, that one works, to the port. And again, you can steer with these. We'll bring them both up. Bring that one back. Turn that one off. Then we'll try the kicker motor. Trim, your trim switch is right here. See, this has got that friction stop, so that's good. I'll show you why. Right there's your friction. I can lock this motor out just like this. And then your start button's right here. Put it in gear. This is your friction on that. Cold-blooded. There, now we're running on the kicker motor. We're doing 6.2. See, I can steer that boat without that tie bar. If I wanted to. Be right, left. So we'll go to the right. And if you want to turn it faster without the tie bar, that cavitated a little bit. You go like this. See how it's turning it without the tie bar? You just pivot that motor over a little bit. Like this right here. Leave it like that. There you go. So now that means I need to give it this.
away, bring her back into neutral, kill the kit, hit the kill button, trim the clip up on the killer handle, and then put your finger up here to make sure it doesn't hit. Go down, and I'm gonna pivot this like this. Loosen up that first from the hair. That's kind of blocking your view, wasn't it? I'm going to loosen that up and go like this. Then lock it. Like that. That way you can trim it higher. You can always do it like this. You don't want to see that's out of the water and you stop right there. All right, this is Boat Doctor out.